God, I'm actually shaking. I mean, this is huge. This is the most important thing we've ever had to do. It's just such a massive responsibility. I made a wee man out of chewing gum. Focus, Orla. This message, well, it's vital. We have to be clear and calm and concise. Right. Is there anything you want to ask before we start? Do lions yawn? Is there anything relevant you want to ask before we start? No. Okay. Let's do this then. Turn it on. What do you mean? The camcorder, turn it on. Well, I already did. It's recording? Yeah. No. Yeah. Unbelievable. Thank you very much. Okay, fine. We'll just count to five and then edit that bit out. Okay, one, two, three, oh, yes. four. <clears throat> Good evening. My name is Erin Quinn and this is Orla McCall. We're cousins. The year is 1996 and we're speaking from Derry, Northern Ireland. These are uncertain times. Peace negotiations have broken down and mass rioting engulfs our streets. The city is literally on fire. We've been ordered to remain inside our homes by the authorities. You mean our mummies? Yes. Worried for our own safety, Orla and I have constructed this bunker. Yeah, what we did was we um, came upstairs, we opened the airing cupboard, we got inside it, and then we sat down. We've taken the brave decision to record our experience for future historians. All right, future historians, you're looking well. It's not going to be easy. At this stage, I've already lost all sense of time. I mean, I have no idea how long I've been here. I would say 20 minutes or so. Our parents are trying to be strong, but they're petrified. They're downstairs watching Family Fortunes. But they're not enjoying it, Orla. No. No. I've never seen my granddad this upset. Well... That's because he thought we had French fancies and it turns out someone just put the empty packet back on the, in the cupboard. So. God knows when this will be over. But when I eventually walk back out into the world, I will look at everything with new eyes. The sky, the sea, the mountains. My toes. What? I really miss my toes. You can see your toes any time, Orla. They're attached to your feet. Oh, I, so they are. Oh. A situation like this makes you appreciate all the things that you took for granted. I am grateful for so much. For the fact that I've been in love. With who? Oh, he knows. If you're on about Muddler from X-Files, he probably doesn't know. He is flatter than that with them aliens. Shut up, Orla! But mostly I'm grateful for my family. And I'm grateful for Cocoa Pops. Because family is all that matters. Family, but also Cocoa Pops. I love my family so dearly. And I love... I swear to Christ if you say Cocoa Pops one more time, Marla. But they're cracker. Right, that's like... Just get out. Get out of the bunker. You can't throw me out of the bunker. Well, I am. I'm throwing you out of the bunker. Fine. I'll make my own bunker. Knock yourself out. Oh, his mommy's wardrobe is far bigger and it has sliding doors. What? Do you fancy a wee bowl of Cocoa Pops? Oh, all right then. 